No, this man is not sick, and he's not in trouble. He's demonstrating his talent. Paul Kendall is America's hollering champ, and now the holler that won him that honor. Do you ever feel kind of dumb when you do that? That ain't no problem with me. I am dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you something. <clears throat> the only person in this world that has good sense is one that's crazy. And, and they all want to have fun. And Paul Kendall has fun hollering at his farmhouse just off the main drag in Whiteville. When you hear a farm animal here, you have to ask, is it chicken or is it Kendall? <laughs> and then the rooster's bragging about it, so he said... <laughs> so, so I take it you started out doing this imitating animals? Well, I do like, I like sound. If I hear sound, I try to imitate it. But Paul Kendall's not just a noisemaker, he considers hollering a serious art. It's kind of like an orphan baby. It's been neglected. Well, it's not neglected anymore. Paul's turned his home into a hollering research center. He spends hours tape recording his hollering mixed with musical instruments. Oh, yeah. Paul can play four instruments today using a saxophone to record the Lily of the Valley. You spent a lot of money on this recording equipment. So what? I have spent as much money as plenty of people have spent on a Mercedes car, or a Cadillac, or a yacht, or some of those things. Or maybe as much as some of them spent even on playing golf. Uh-huh. And this is here, and I can enjoy it, and maybe somebody else can enjoy it. Well, after getting the melody on tape, it's time to holler. Where in earphones, he hollers in harmony with the recorded music. Paul hollers not only the melody of Lily of the Valley, but later adds the alto part. Certainly a new musical creation. I got it. Okay, so now we're ready with three-part holler and harmony on the Lily of the Valley. Go ahead. Bet you've never heard anything like that. For Paul Kendall, this is about the sweetest sound this side of heaven. I don't care if nobody else in the world likes it. I love it. And that's all that matters. In fact, Paul loves it so much that when he played another recording for us, he just couldn't sit still. I'm a showstopper. This is how Paul Kendall stays young at the age of 72. 